Hey uh, YouTube, uh, today I'll be showing you how to get the HTC weather and clock application as you can see right there. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to get this and how to set it up um, using iFile. So first of all we're going to go into Cydia. So no matter what, it'll take a while to load. Uh, yeah, I said in my uh, last video that I was going to set um, show you how to set this up. So this is the video. Uh, so basically, the HTC weather animated is just uh, um, basically exactly the same as the uh, Android one. Uh, the HTC Android which is pretty cool so we're gonna go into go into search on Cydia and type in HTC weather and then it should say animated right so it's the top one as you can see I've already got it um, already got it installed as it said modify in the top right but you click install and then you click confirm so it's version 1.1 go back into search and then next we're going to search iFile when it's finished loading basically iFile is kind of like um, a finder and you can access like the whole um, settings of your iPod. You can use it for like hacking into games, like changing points and stuff, but I don't use it for that. Right, so now it's loaded, we're going to type in iFile. This is a um, paid up, um, paid application from Cydia, so what I'm going to do uh, put you a link in the description, which is going to be a source for you to add. If you watched my video before this of my top five, it um, and you actually added the source from that. It's going to be the same source. So let's just wait for this to load. There we go. As you can see, it's blue right at the top. But this one, which I've got, the second one right here, is the free version. So as you can see it says modify in the top right and it's version 1.4.2 Right, so exit out of Cydia so after you've downloaded both of those um, now what you want to do is it, sh it should have downloaded an app for the actual HTC um, little uh, widget, but as you can see, I've got mine hidden in my SP settings. It's right there. So this application is going to be called Per Page, which basically lets you put mostly every Android a little like calendar, and then the HTC one, which is right there. So basically, you're going to select the bottom one if you want the HTC. HTC clock and weather forecast and you're going to select what page you want it on so we select what page so I've got mine on the first and it puts it straight on the first page as you can see right so now this is the tricky bit what you need iFile for is to change as you can see it says Chesterfield you want to change that to like your location. So I say go into iFile. There will be a button in the top left when it loads up. Just click back, 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 back until there's no more. So we're going to go into VAR. Then we're going to go into mobile, 
library FB setting Oops, sorry, I clicked the wrong one. It should be mobile with a lowercase m. Then you want to go in library. Uh, try and find per page HTML. Click that. And then, so we've got the HTC ANI PPH, so we click that. And then, see where it says configme.js click that top left click edit right so hopefully you'll be able to see this I'll try and zoom in uh, when I'm editing this video so we're gonna start right at the bottom it's show weather a n i which means animation and it'll say false so you want to change that to true, uh, var show background true, lock background yeah, and then you want to change. As you can see, it says var show forecast true, var update, which is 180 minutes. Use real feel false. And then you want I Celsius. So if you want it in Celsius, you put true. If you want, if you want it in, if you don't want it in Celsius, you push, you put false in. So as you can see now, this is the trick of it. You need a computer for this as well, by the way. So you want to type in. It says var local equals UK XX 0034. So and this is how you get that code. So you go into your internet. Mine's Safari. So you want to type in the address bar www.weather.com Right, so if you can see right now it says United States English right here click that and change it to UK and Ireland or wherever you live or wherever you're from Alright, so you want to search postal code or location. S4, which is today in Chesterfield, United Kingdom. So, as you can see right there, as you can see right there, click it and it comes up. And if you look on the web address right here, See, there's a code UK XX0034. So, right on the end here, you want to type that. Oops. You want to type that right up here where it says var local. So, you want to type it in between them quotations. And then, once you've done all that, just click save. Done. Home button. And now it will be the same. So, say if you've got SBS settings, slide across the top bar. You can click power. Not power, sorry. And you can click respring. Or you can turn it off if you haven't got SBS settings. Or if you've got winterboard, you can just go into your settings and then click on winterboard and then you can just click on my theme and then click it back on go back and respring I'll show you in a minute once my settings is loaded right so we're in settings now so scroll all the way down to winterboard as you can just click select theme click on something and then click it off winterboard and then you can click respring there in the top left. So, and then once it's respringed, it should then change to. Oh, sorry guys. Um, my app was just disconnected.
I must have actually caught the respring, but um, respring button by accident. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just wait for this to respring. Sorry about this, guys. Right then, so. Right, as you can see, it says Chesterfield still. But if you, if I were to change the, that code, it would change the weather forecast, and then it'd say like wherever I change it to, like Sheffield or somewhere. So that's basically how you set that up. It's not too difficult, but I just thought I'd leave a tutorial because some people might not know how to set it up or not. Right. So the next video I'll probably be doing is how to get installers and how to download um, paid apps for free I don't recommend um, I don't recommend actually doing this to every single app just if you want to test it out see if it's worth worth um, the money what they're charging it for and then perhaps go buy it so that will be my next video uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you got got the um, HTC background working because it is really brilliant, as you can see with the like graphics of the moon and the clouds. You know, it's just it brightens up your iPod, I suppose, or when it's in the morning, anyway. So um, that's basically that's it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and comment. Bye, guys.